don't get down like that. No, when I do a lip balm, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if it's just me. I can't believe I just did that out loud. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Welcome back to Northern Michigan, rural Northern Michigan, where we are just land of tractors and oh yes, weed whackers, which is what you're hearing right now. If you can hear it, I don't know. Guys, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> I was sitting here. I have been sitting here in this seat trying to film for over a half hour and I just keep waiting. Like eventually they're going to be done mowing their lawn. It's going to be great. No sooner do I go, yes, it's time. It's time. I'm ready. I go, I click my thing on and they put away their lawnmower and they brought out the weed whacker <laughs> and I'm going to lose my mind. So hello. Um, if you can hear that again, I apologize. I don't really, well, I don't really apologize because A, it's annoying, and B, like, I can't change what other people do in the world and, like, the noise. And it's so irritating when creators apologize for stuff they have no control over. But <laughs> it's driving me crazy. And if you can hear it, and that drives you crazy as well, well, <laughs> welcome to the party. And I think what I really need is just to, like, channel my inner, like, Libra. Like, I just need to, like, you know, just, like, bring it in, like, get, like, a Captain Planet ring, maybe some some of that, what is that, Power Rangers? Wah! Like, some of that, you know, oh, like, we got it, wah! Some bright yellow <laughs> 90s energy with a bright yellow leotard or something like that. That's really what we need. Anyways, okay, let's just go ahead. Let's get into today's video because while I was sitting here getting ready this morning, which side note, everything that is on my face will be linked down below if you are wondering about the makeup products I used, all that good stuff. I will link the uh, the face products down below. The earrings are old from Bobble Bar, so I can't link these. They're not on their site anymore. The tank top is from Torrid, also old. Can't link that. But the jacket is from Fabletics, and if I can link it, if it's still available, I will link that down below. But as far as the makeup, everything everything should be available and that will be linked as well. But anyways, it occurred to me this morning while I was getting ready that I haven't sat down and done one of these videos where I just go through and like talk about new and upcoming makeup releases in a hot minute. And these are some of my favorite videos to film because not only does it tell you guys, you know, this is what I'm looking at buying. These are products that you'll get to see eventually, you know, what's coming down the pike for the channel. But it's also a good time to look at the other things, you know, the things that I won't be buying that are from the makeup people, you know, the makeup gods, if you will. And uh, we get to look at them and just be like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I just, I don't know what it is. I just love that moment where we get to both look at awesome products that I'm super excited about and also look at makeup that I'm just like, I just like don't understand in any way how it came to be a thing. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about with my hand, just huh, let's talk about it. Um, we're gonna talk about the new packaging from Maybelline. This is their Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I'm actually really excited to test this out, not because I think the formula is different, but just because I wanna take a look at the packaging and see how it feels, because I could see this being a way that we revolutionize the way that cosmetics are like done and manufactured. And eventually finding that process where we go from like plastic containers like this or large large glass components like this, we might be able to find a way to go from those packages down to something like this where it's a pouch, then make that pouch into like an eco-friendly kind of pouch that's biodegradable and, you know, has all these other features to it. And I just think as a makeup lover, I want to test it out and like really feel the packaging for myself. See, you know, how does it feel in my hands? Does the plastic feel sturdy enough? Do I think I could travel with this or is it going to pop? You know, what what are like the, the confines of this packaging? So not only am I interested in this packaging because of that evolution of what I think could come down the line for eco-friendly options and, and cosmetics and manufacturing and that whole thing. But I'm also very interested in this because I think for the first time with a foundation, you will be able to literally squeeze it like a tube of toothpaste and get every dot of foundation. And then even if there's more in there, you could actually like cut it open and literally wipe out all the foundation and get 100% utilization. And I think that is fantastic. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about, this needs no explanation at all. We're gonna talk about the Wayne Goss Lip Collection. Now, by the time you guys see this, it will have more than likely already launched. But uh, this, when it launches, I'm just telling everybody right now, I basically have a do not disturb sign on my face, okay? Do not talk to me. I don't want anybody to even breathe in my direction until this conversation and this everything has been loaded into my cart and I have paid for it. Because I, uh, like, I don't even... Hmm, I want the whole collection. Is there a collection option? Like, can I just click add to cart, take my life savings, take my house, my car, my life? Because, okay, well, that that's a bit drastic. But seriously, guys, I... Oh my God, I am so excited. Like there, there are so many aspects of this collection that I love. And I think for me, anytime Wayne Goss ever launches anything, I love the fact that you can see his thorough and his thoughtfulness behind his products. But I also really love that he has a very mature, like classic sleek design to his stuff and such a thoughtful way. Like I watched his reveal video. And one of the things that I loved about what he said is that he actually tested these lipsticks on every age. He said, I didn't just test them on models and on 18 year olds. 
I wanted to test them as well on 65 year olds and see are they comfortable on you? Do they make you feel good? Do they make your lips feel full and fresh? And how do they make your wrinkles look like he he really wanted to go there and and make sure that this is something that would work across ages and across generations. And I just I love the thoughtfulness of him whether it's this type of thing brushes whatever. I just feel like with Wayne Goss it's so clear that his motives are not um, they're not just money. It's not just about like making a quick buck. You know, he is the to me he is the exact opposite of what like makeup revolution like a brand like that is. Again, no, no shade to the brand, whatever. Um, although a little shade to the brand, but he is to me he is the exact opposite of what a brand like that stands for, where it's like quick turnover, quick this, quick that, quick formulas. And Wayne Goss actually says, no, you know what? How about we like step back for a second? We're gonna talk about formula. I want to test it out. I want to do all this stuff because I do not want to deliver not one product, not one brush, one lipstick, one gloss, one liner, whatever. I do not want to deliver one item that isn't perfect. And I love that about him. I love his consumer, um, his thoughtfulness for the consumer. I think it's fantastic. And also while we're on the topic, huge congratulations, Wayne. Like everything else aside, again, products and money, whatever aside, I am so proud of you and just of the man that you are. And just to, to know that someone like you that exists on the makeup platform, I think that you are what so many of us aspire to be. You are what so many of us look to for a professional in the industry that is well thought out and you are well spoken and you are sweet and kind. And I just, I wanted you to know, I appreciate you. Congratulations on your launch. I cannot wait to support it. Um, whether it's this or whatever else you do in the future, your brushes, I love them. Um, and I'm just, I'm very excited. So congratulations to you. And I'm so excited. And y'all best nobody be talking to me when these launch, because I've got stuff to do. I have got things to click. I've got things to buy. It it's it's happening. I'm ready. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys, so we need to just have a conversation because the level of excited <laughs> that I got when I saw this, all right, this is from Dior and it is their new Forever Foundation and it says that it is a part of their summer collection and it's called their Forever Summer Skin. It's a lightweight formula, gives a natural glowy finish to your skin, 24 hour wear, honey. Yes, healthy glow, fresh tint, heat proof, sweat proof, sign me up, sign me up, love my life, okay? I <laughs> could not be more excited for this. I am so all about like skin tints and mixtures and like healthy glows, which is funny because like I'm oily through my T-zone. So honey, I'm glowing for days all by myself and I don't care. I want stuff. Like, I want it just like, oh, I want it layered all over my face because I love the way that stuff like this looks on the skin. I love that healthy glowy moment and I am here for this. There's really not much else to say about this. Like I'm just excited. I'm ready to go, honey. Take my money. Yes, please, Dior. Bring it home. Bring it home. I can't. Oh, wait, did they say summer collection? What else is in the summer collection? Also, I probably need it. Oh, oh my God. I love that I'm already planning. Need the whole collection. I love Dior. I think it was two years ago they came out with that um, collection right around Memorial Day. They launched their Forever Skin, which is like that big round bottle, and they launched their eyeshadow palettes and their highlights, and I bought the entire collection on Memorial Day weekend, and guys, I'm telling you, to this day, and that was like two years ago, to this day, it's still one of my favorite things to use. I'm obsessed with it. The formula, like that highlight palette especially, is just so, so good. Um, so I'm, very, I'm really excited, moral of the story, to test this out because uh, in the past, they have not disappointed and I'm pumped. Are you kidding me? Okay guys, channeling my inner Libra can only go so far. <laughs> I'm getting irritated. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna just try to talk over the lawnmower, but I need you to know, I'm, I'm doing everything in my power to just like zen right now, but I just wanna start plunking eggs out my window at these people. Like, I feel like I'm that person that like, when I get irritated to like, I just like, I hit the 10 of irritation, I start thinking like, ooh, that's a bad word. That's a bad thought. We're having bad thoughts going on in our heads. And mine, like eggs. <laughs> like You'll go away eventually, right? You'll shut that thing off eventually after I dump 17 chicken worth of eggs on you. <laughs> plunk, plunk, plunk. But really quickly, I just wanted to throw this one in here. I just saw it on uh, Trend Mood again. I'm still scrolling through. And can somebody please tell me why Kat Von D is still, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oop, not Kat yeah, Bondi, this is KVD Vegan Beauty. Uh, what? <laughs> no, it's not. It's Kavon D. I'm sorry. This is their Kitten Mini Neo Pop Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette. It is $19. And I'm sorry, what? Like, is am I really? I'm gonna ask you a question, okay? Am I really looking at this right now? I just, I don't, I, I don't even understand. I, like, what? I literally don't even understand like what this is for, okay? I look at it and I'm like, what ugly ass eye look would I create with this? And no shade to people. I mean, if this is your color and you really like that bright and that pop, 
right on, you do you. But I just, I, I look at this and it actually makes me like violently irritated <laughs> to think that this, because I mean, they created it and you know where it's going to end up? Right at Marshall's where I'm going to look at it, open up the little container and I can already just see other people's and their little swatchy fingers on product that they haven't bought that now they've ruined and it's just going to get thrown away anyways. Like if you make this, I'm sorry, you are just, you are knowing that you're creating this, you're going to put it to Sephora. Sephora is not going to sell it because obvious reasons. And so from Sephora or wherever it goes, it's going to go from distribution to distribution till it ends up at Marshall's. At Marshall's, people are just going to swatch it. Then it's got to get thrown away anyways. You might as well not even make it. It's ugly. Move on. Oh my God. No. And I'm really sorry if that comes off as harsh, you guys. And I'm not trying to be harsh, honestly. I'm just trying to like say what I think and think what I feel here or something to that effect. But the reality is, okay, it irritates me. That noise is killing me. And between the two, it's just making me like extra sassy, zazzy, and pissed off. So it's just, it's what you're going to get today. Um, you know, time to move on. It's just time. It's time to move on from so many things Kat Von D and and the situation but it's just time to move on let's go to a different post Ooh, la, 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 la. okay I'm better no, I'm not better I'm not better I'm far from better but I'm gonna say I'm better I'm better all right, so next up, we're going to talk about something that's really on the cutesy side. It's from Wet n Wild, and it looks like it is going to Walmart stores, and everything in the collection is under $5, which I think is cool. Now, do I think the entire collection speaks to me? No, but they do have pigment palettes, which are just eyeshadow palettes. I would definitely consider, you know, checking out maybe one or two of those. They've got glosses and highlights and face and body gems and lipsticks, glitter gels, liquid eyeshadows, multi-sticks, glitter liners, lashes, nail polish, tattoos, and sprays, and some items, of course, are already sold out. As far as me, I think the only way I would pick this up is if I was like at Walmart, I looked down and they like had it and I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, like I would have to actually like be interested in it. This isn't something that I'm like <gasps> interested in, you know, <laughs> right from looking at it, but I do think it's a cool concept and um, it's, it's, it's very, it's very bright and um, I'm, <laughs> I'm not as I sit here wearing a black hoodie. That's just my heart and soul. You know, I, I'm really into like that black sleek sophistication. It's very slimming. It's very oof. Plus if I drop like, I don't know, like a cheeseburger or something on it, you can't really tell. You just have to avoid the white tank top but past that y'all you get it anywhere else you can't even tell you will never know that i dropped hamburger cheeseburger french fries whatever you won't know i dropped it on this because it's black and that's why it's great so after i eat the hamburger cheeseburger french fries it's good to have the black because again slimming slimming okay 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 we need to just talk about something me and my arm just like sitting here having like a whole spiritual moment this launch from charlotte tilbury and i know that this probably sounds just like so like who cares? But when I tell you, I, I don't know what it is. First of all, Charlotte Tilbury, what is it about that company that like could make me like sell a kidney to purchase something that I didn't even know I needed? I don't know. It's the packaging. It's the presentation. It's the name. It's the sophistication. I don't know. But this launch from them, they launched their magic serum, magic lip oil, and a magic light cream, which is a lightweight miracle moisturizer. And when I tell you, I don't care. I looked up the serum. Okay. The serum is $80, okay, $80. Like, I was seriously tempted, okay? I was seriously tempted by, I, I swear to God, like, earthly demons, heaven up above, everything. Every influence in my world just wanted me to try this serum, right? And then I got to looking at the lip oil, and I'm like, my God, that is a beautiful ass lip oil, okay? It looks nice. It looks luxurious. I want my lips to look pretty and shiny and gorgeous like that. Like, I am I'm in it to win it on all of these levels. And so, moral of my story in saying this, I will not buy the serum yet. I haven't yet. I resisted. I had a whole moment, guys. Quarantine is making me very, very questionable at times. But I, I stopped. I didn't purchase it. Again, go Paige. That's me patting myself on the back. Good job. The lip oil, I'm still on the fence about because I really want to try it. But I also have a couple other balms and lip oils and stuff like that that I want to use. So, I'm not 100% sure if that one I'll go for, but I'm going to for sure wait on the serum. I want to hear what other people have to say. And if you sitting there watching this have tried either of these, I expect you to tell me down below if they're good. I don't care. I don't care if you liked it or not. I just want to know. I want to know about your experience. I want to know if it was worth the money, everything. Let me know down below. Charlotte Tilbury, the magic serum, the lip oil. I don't think the, the magic light cream has come out yet, but if that, I mean, if you've tried that too, maybe you got it in PR. Maybe you're Charlotte herself. I don't know. But if that's the case, tell me down below what you think. Thank you. That noise is driving me crazy guys i swear that they know i'm up here and they know it's like a conspiracy against me they're like she's busy she's trying to do things that don't require noise in the background so what are we gonna do wah, 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 wah. we're gonna just rev this thing like a kawasaki in a field and hope and hope and pray that we can drive her crazy oh 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 oh, oh okay okay we can just talk about this right here right now kmart because guys patrick ta i want to know what it is about his products that make me both like <laughs> that'll never work. And also, oh my God, I need it. What is it about his stuff that makes me do that 
at the same time because I'm telling you, he came out with this like brow, you know, stuff that he can, I don't even know if it's like considered a brow gel, a brow, whatever. It's like a little brow compact thing, okay? But he comes out with this thing and I'm just like, nah, not really my thing, not really my bag. I have seen probably mm, three, four, five people use it now. And every time, I even went on his Instagram and like watched him like apply it, learned how to use it. And I'm telling you what, by the time that I've watched this, you know, get applied and be used and stuff, every time I'm left going, my God, I think I need it. Just in the interest of honesty, by the way, this is something I would have anti-hauled like that, like even a month ago or so. And now I sit here and I'm thinking to myself, like, my God, I need it. I I actually, like, I have a cart on the Patrick Tao website with like this, a couple lip products. Like, I, I, I have things I want to try, things I never would have considered before. But then I got to thinking about it. And honestly, I think it's only fair if, you know, like the product and looking at it, it did nothing for me. Now I've seen it, you know, get used and applied several times. And it, if it really intrigues me that much, I actually think that I like owe it to his brand. This is what I tell myself to like justify my purchase. But I feel like I owe it to him and his brand to test out the product, see for myself if it's good. Also going off of, you know, of my previous experience because I have bought other stuff from Patrick Ta. I bought his body oil, I bought his gloss, and I think I might have bought a lipstick maybe, I'm not sure. But the gloss of his that I have, I have used so many times. It is one of my favorites. I really love the texture. It's very lightweight. The gloss is amazing, like the, the actual glossiness of it. And it just wears so well. I'm a huge fan. So I, you know, in the back of my head, I'm kind of thinking like, yes, I'm going to be paying for something that like I'm a little uneasy about. But at the same time, I kind of have no reason not to trust him. So I'm, th I'm thinking I might pick this up. Again, if you guys have tried it, please let me know down below if it's any good. Um, because I'm just, I'm so into it. Like, I, I, <laughs> I'm so into it. I can't even tell you. Again, never, you know what the, you know what the real devil is? It's like Instagram and all these other people that are like, oh, watch me do it. Watch me work. Hey, Dirk, get work it. And then you watch him do it. That was a song, by the way, in case you couldn't tell by my great rendition. That was supposed to be a song. It was from uh, Dirty Dancing when they're like, work it, work it. Ah. You know what I'm talking about? No? <laughs> okay, not surprised. Uh, but I, moral of the story, I think I should try it. Instagram's the devil because it makes me want to try it. And they just shut that lawnmower off and they just turned it back on. There was like four minutes <laughs> where there was no lawnmower <laughs> and it was great. And now there's a lawnmower again. Definitely think we should get out and like walk around the lawnmower and then like talk about it while it's running so that we, we have to yell twice as loud to talk to each other. That's a good idea. Are you kidding me? Okay, so really quickly, I do want to touch on the new from Huda Beauty, their Diamond Hydrating Lip Balms, because like Bougie Page loves these just for the packaging. I think the packaging is like next level gorgeous. But here's my issue, okay? These are $25 a piece. And am I the only one <laughs> that when I put on like chapstick or anything lip balmy, I don't just do like a nice little like, uh, uh, uh. like I don't get down like that. No, when I do a lip balm, I'm like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if it's just me. I can't believe I just did that out loud or like in in real life. But seriously, I when I put on a lip balm, I like coat that shit. I get it like all over. And for some lip balms, I'll even take them and like go around my mouth, like right out here on the sides because those areas crack too, you know, like they get extra dry on the, on the outer portion of your lips. And so I just feel like with this on like a practicality level, they are so, so beautiful. But the reality is I would only take and use this lip balm if I was about ready to go to the most bougie of bougie of bougie. And like I needed something that looked so over the top and so extra like to, to me this is the perfect met gala lip balm okay let me put it that way that's like a big thing everybody's talking about it right now this is the met gala lip balm okay if you are that person you're sitting there you're just like you know half peacock half freddy krueger or whatever those people do and you're just like oh my god i'm so extra i need my lip balm okay and you're gonna pull it out yeah it needs to look like this i would also like to throw out there just for the record i have used expensive lip balms and i think that there are some that are worth the money there's one from i think it's milk makeup that i absolutely just am i love it I'm obsessed with it. It's great. But if you don't want to spend that much and like, you know, you're not really in this for the packaging, like if you're just looking for a great lip balm, you can get those for like $6.99, $7.99, $3.99. Like there's a lot better price point out there. Okay, guys, two things. Number one, I just had to take a phone call. All right. And while I was on the phone call, I noticed at the tail end of it that the lawnmower shut off. And I was like, yes, oh my God, this is great. I just no sooner got off the phone, hit hang up and started to talk to you. And that lawnmower turned back on. And somebody's going to tell me that there isn't like some cosmic lack after going on right now, <laughs> don't believe it. Number one. Number two, I, while I was off the phone, I grabbed my mirror just to look because I always get, you know, lipstick on my Invisalign, right? So I'm sitting here and I was looking at that and then all of a sudden I look up. This entire time, at least I'm assuming this entire time, I have had a black dot of mascara, like an actual flake. Like it came all the way from my itty bitty little eyelash all the way up here, all the way kapunk and landed on my nose. I don't know how long it was there, but I had an actual black speck of mascara on my nose. That's not irritating. That's number two. Number three, I also noticed that this video, whether it's because of what's going 
going on, me talking a lot, whatever. This video is getting so long. So I have just one or two things that I would really like to conclude with because I feel like they have to be said, okay? They, and I don't, and it's just, it's just because of how it hit me. It's no shade to the brand, but Sephora put out, <laughs> or at least I saw it on Trend Mood. They put out this image and it's of, you know, all these new like face things that they offer. Some brushes, some facial massage tools, I believe is what they're calling them. And I just need you guys to take a look at this picture that I'm gonna put up for you. And I just wanna know if anybody looks at this and goes, because mm, I, I like, and it's just at first glance. Like I, I know what they are. Okay, you know, those are eye orbs. That's like a face massage or whatever, okay? But at first glance, does anybody else while you're scrolling through trend mood stop and go, um, what? Maybe it's just me, you know, while I'm scrolling through, maybe it just catches my eye. Maybe I'm just, you know, a little bit, I'm a little bit on the sassy perverted side. I don't know. But I saw that and I was just like, uh, <laughs> I feel like we need some more explanation. And just, I mean, I don't, uh, guys, I really can't explain it. It just happened in my brain. I just wanted to put it out there, ask if I was the only one that's ever scrolling through. You see these random face tools and you're just like, mm, questions. I have questions. And I don't know if it's just me or not, so I'm actually going to stop. I'm going to end the video here. I had a couple other products I was going to like go through and talk about and stuff, but I think we're just going to stop. We're just going to stop because between me and like, I've already put out enough bad juju karma, whatever, honey, I've put out enough bad to like, I need to stop, maybe give it some time, regenerate some good. Okay. Cause I've been a little shady in this video, not only like towards the products and stuff, but also towards whoever is outside on that thing, honey, I would be lying if I didn't sit here and huh, like, and like try to like throw a little little zap moment to him so I'm just gonna stop because I don't think it's good for my health I definitely don't think it's good for again my my aura or whatever is out here I don't think it's good for anybody okay of course if you haven't checked me out yet Instagram and on Twitter those will both be linked down in the description uh, but most importantly if you haven't subscribed please be sure to do that before you leave I put up new videos Monday Wednesday Friday they go up around 7 my time here in northern Michigan but you guys that is it thank you all so so much for watching and for hanging out and for putting up with the noise and just putting up with me it's a lot sometimes um, I really appreciate it and I hope that you guys all have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye well hello beautiful people welcome back i hope you all are having our <laughs> which side note everything that is on my face will be linked down below <laughs> That looks bad. Wow, I can't read. I just tried to read the word negligee and I'm like, negligee. <laughs> Welcome to Northern Michigan. And for some lip balms, they're actually good because I'll like run them like over the edge of my mouth. So that way it like hydrates the um, outer like rim area. <laughs> that sounds bad. Can you maybe go shove that lawnmower right up your ass? That would sure be great if you would just shove it right up your ass. <laughs>